This is Coogan Cassius for IFL TV in association with MTK Global. We're in Saudi Arabia ahead of Ruiz Joshua 2. Delighted to be joined by Mr. Philip Hergovic. How are you, sir? I'm very well, thank you. You look very serious today, Philip. Are you okay? <laughs> yeah, I'm okay. Good. Um, how are you feeling with your, your fight with uh, Eric Molina this week? Can you repeat? How are you feeling about your fight with Eric Molina this week? I feel very good. I had really very good camp, 12 weeks of camp in Miami with Pedro Diaz. I trained like never before and I feel very good. This is my biggest fight of my career so far. And uh, I feel very good. I'm looking forward to Saturday night. Melina has been in the ring with the likes of Deontay Wilder, Anthony Joshua. What kind of Melina do you expect to see in the ring on Saturday? I'm preparing for the best version of Molina and uh, I'm expecting hard fight for me. It's my only 10th fight and he have almost 40 fights. And he's very experienced, he challenged world title two times. And I'm expecting hard fight and best version of uh, Molina. I said, from all the up-and-coming heavyweights the, around kind of the amount of fights you've had, people talk about you as the one to watch over the next year. Why is that? Because I'm the best. <laughs> and uh, I don't know, man. I just uh, do my job. I'm 100% uh, focused on my job. I had a very good and long amateur career. And I think I can compete with everyone in the world. And if I put my good performance, I think I can beat everyone in the world. And uh, looking very, really, really hard. I think no heavyweight in the world who train like me. And uh, I, I, I just can't wait to fight the biggest name in the division. Do you believe that you are ready for the guys like Wilder, Fury, Joshua, Ruiz now, today? Are you ready for those guys now, surely? I feel I feel ready for everyone in the division. I spar with a lot of champions and uh, the best in the world. And, and I know I can compete with everyone and I can I can beat everyone if I put my good performance and I'm looking forward to the biggest fights. How long before we then realistically see you in the ring with those guys because you've had not that many fights as a professional at heavyweight so how long before you are having those kind of fights yeah i think i need few more big fights with the guys like molina like uh, maybe derek chisora joseph parker alexander povetkin all these big names who are let's say one level uh, down from the from the Deontay Wilder, Joshua and Andy Ruiz and I think I need a few more big fights with these kind of names and that will make me ready for the biggest biggest name in the division. What is your pick for the main event this weekend between Joshua and Ruiz, Phillips? I think Joshua will win. I think uh, last time he was not his self. He was uh, under too big pressure. He was uh, re relaxed because of the way of the life. He made such a, a big money and a lot of fame. And I think it relaxed him. And now this uh, loss, I think, uh, shake him and I think he will show that he's a great champion on Saturday night and then he will win for sure that's my opinion where did your name come from El Animal where did that come from who gave you the name who gave you your name El Animal uh, Pedro Diaz when I arrived in Miami in first camp when he saw my uh, working ethic and my physical condition he started to call me animal 
and that became my uh, nickname, official. That's my nickname as well. They call me Animal as well. Really? For what? For, uh, for eating. <laughs> okay, everyone need to be animal in uh, his job. Anyone need to be animal? It's not something bad. It's it's positive. People maybe see it in in wrong way, but we need to be animals in 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 good things. I agree. I agree. I am an animal in the recording world. Yeah. Yeah. You need to be animal in re in recording. I need to be animal in in uh, training. He need to be animal in matchmaking. He need to be animal in the myths. And that's it. We all need to be animals. I like that. I spoke to Kala Sauland earlier and he said that make sure we he need to be animal in uh, promoting me. <laughs> <laughs> he's an animal in promoting, yeah. Yeah, yeah, he's very good. He's very good. Okay. Philip, thank you very much for your time. Best of luck on Saturday and hopefully we'll talk to you again this week. Thank you very much and see you soon. All the best. Is special. Absolute dynamite. Oh.